I just found out the internet is worldwide. It is. The Really? The interweb? Yeah, the interweb. Intra, inter, you name it. Web. Yes. You name it. First of all, congratulations, Mazalto. Tell us about being much. involved for this amazing film, first of all, which is based on a true story. Based on a true story. Uh, it's very funny, small world. Um, I heard about this film happening, and then I said, it's about Israelis. My parents are Israelis. And then I found out it was a true story. And when I went to audition, I found out later, the person I'm playing in the film is a real person, and I met him, and he does resemble me. Really? Which worked out. Yeah, he'll be here later, Jacob. So, so were you able to like connect with him and hang out with him and kind of you know They're feel him out as a, a person? Lovely family. They invited me for Shabbat dinner, which I haven't done yet. I'm sorry, I will be there. Me too. Uh, yeah. We've missed Shabbat. We miss Shabbat. There's Shabbos. One every week. <coughs> we miss Shabbos. Yeah. 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 He's right. There's one next week as well. So. You, I, you don't really resemble her, but... Uh, I don't resemble her. Well, she's, uh... Well, Mo, maybe I did at the time. She said at the time. Well, then you know what? Then you must have done a phenomenal job if you didn't resemble her, but you just nailed it out of the no, park. It's it's nearly impossible to destroy four or five lines. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So we play a married couple yeah. in, in, the, uh, in the movie, and we emigrate from... Israel and it's fun. It was 1973 Tel Aviv, and that's that's sexy for an independent film to have that kind of production value, and it was kind of great. Yeah. So we'll see. We haven't seen it. We're very excited. Now, in light of this film, for the love of money, uh, an Israeli immigrant chasing the American dream. Yeah. So the question that I'm asking everyone here. Bye, honey. She has, she has to go. She has to go to the bathroom. That's what it is. I have to go to the bathroom. Bye, honey. They go to the bathroom too. Celebrities do that. Yeah. Yes, they do. So if you weren't an actor, what would be your American dream job? Uh, doing what you're doing. Really? Yeah. I think this would be great. You get to kind of like, you know, be close to the flame without being the flame, right? Not too hot. All right. So y you love the industry. Sure, yeah, it's great. I'm Canadian. I'm an immigrant to Los Angeles from Canada, and this is my American dream to come to Hollywood and do a red carpet premiere with James Caan and Paul Sorvino and and, and Alon from Toronto and <laughs> Israel. I don't know who Alon is. He's probably that guy behind me. Ayal from Toronto. And can we edit this together? I'll start it again. Okay, so here's the thing. Are you a big hockey fan? I'm from Vancouver. I'm, you know, a Canucks fan, but I'm not a huge hockey fan. Sure, yeah. Because okay, the LA Kings are like dominating right now. The Kings look like they're going to take the Stanley Cup. And I'd like to point out that about 56% of the team is Canadian. So think about that. Yeah, boy. Are you on the whole social media front? I'm on the Facebook. I don't have a Twitter yet, but I guess I Yet. Can. Yeah, eventually I'll be sucked into it too. Okay, well, let's plug in your Facebook. I want people to start. Oh, don't, look, don't Facebook no? me. No, 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 no. Okay, so you're one of those like really personal, like yeah, really personal. But you know, yeah. I, in Canada, I did a cartoon show years ago called Reboot. Remember Reboot? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I was the main character on Reboot. So people started emailing me when that happened, and I was like, I don't. Weird, were you people. weirded out by it? I was weirded out by it. Yeah. What was the most like the craziest? Email you got. Well, the, the craziest email, it was not an email, it was a guy who sent me a letter and told me that he responded to the frequencies of my voice. And uh, I didn't know what to do with that and do that, with what you will. I have no idea. My name is Michael Benier. I'm at the premiere of For the Love of Money. I play Jacob, and you're watching me on secretlanguage.tv.